attorneys because this is my attorney that keeps me in the interloops with others because she uh, just know that I have a few. A few. Oh, I thought you were about to say a, a plethora. I feel because I the plethora, <laughs> I only, you only need if you got good lawyers, you only need a few. <laughs> one that does this and this, and one that does that and that. Ah. Yeah. So hear me, here we go. Come on up here, bring my girl up here. Cause I know she didn't got hey Kendra. Hey Maddie, you caught me <laughs> sending you were out on your one phone? final text. Huh? Yeah. I was sending out a text about something that we were working on. What's okay. going on? All right, so I know I did get a call from you last mm -hmm. this morning, you know, concerning this concerns and stuff like that, whatever. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't step outside of my boundaries of what I what what I communicated about and what I said. So yes, in a perfect I lawyer world, you wouldn't have said nothing, right? Hey, y'all. But in, in <laughs> true Maddie fashion, right? She is who she is. She had to stick up for herself you didn't go over bounds, right? You've presented the information in its entirety, which is what the other parties should have done, right? Presented the whole story, or at least looked at the whole story instead of running with a snippet, right? right. So you did that. And I'm happy you did that part because just pointing people to, hey, here is the full totality of the situation. Sometimes when you take things into snippet, you can run off with it, right? So- you, you 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 didn't do what I asked you to do, right? Y'all know Maddie gonna be Maddie. But Kendra, okay, okay. But I wanna I wanna talk about this for a second. Go ahead. When you get into situations like that, because at first I was not going to say I was not gonna say anything. Like I I promise. And you told me you was like Maddie, don't. Woo -woo. And I was like, I'm not gonna say a word. I'm not gonna say a word. But you know, there was so much um, uh, stuff being posted from TikTok. From, you know, in mm -hmm. other spaces where people really don't follow me exactly. or, or don't whatever, you know, TikTok, Twitter, you yeah, know, all this stuff. And I was like, OK, if I sit and not say anything, you know, because I didn't I didn't have anything criminally criminally to no to worry no. about. No, it's just that, you know, it's just the social aspect of it, you know, and people that don't understand the law and, do, and don't understand how things like this work, you know, making noise and just sending, mm -hmm. sending messages and shit all, all around. You know, I was yeah. like, okay, you know what? Let me not sit here like I'm oblivious to what's going on I, because I am being, this individual is like non-stop tagging me. Mm -hmm. Harassing you. Uh, you know, harassing me and doing this on every single thing. So yeah. let me just say my one little boop, boop, boop. And then I'm just going to keep on moving. And, you know, you had advised me like Madison, you know, if you do this, you know, you're going to make the story. You're the, you, you will be nobody else. Talking about, you'll make the story, whatever. But I, but I said to myself, um, sexual allegations and things like that, I, like uh, all that other shit that people be accusing me of, like, I don't give a fuck about stuff like that. Like, cause they can suck mm -hmm. my ass. But because I have a, a career, a, a former career in being an adult film actress and having an adult film business, you know, people would like to, you know, or been, or been in the sex work industry, people would like to have said, oh, well, this is this is just normal of her. This is what she, yeah, I can believe this is what she does. When even in my business, when even in my adult film business, I didn't do anything against anyone's will. You know, everybody had to come, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, do a con do proper things in the situation, mm -hmm. and so it's easy to say, like, for an adult, a, a, a former adult, you know, film star or sex worker, oh, well, this is normal behavior for her to do that, and that's not the case, you know what I'm saying? Because at the because at yeah. the middle, beginning, and end of the day, I haven't done any sex work or adult film work in, in over a decade, yeah, and so this is, and so people like to just because it's been done you know people like to yeah. paste that to your name i haven't done any of this it's been over a decade yeah um and i definitely didn't do anything against anybody's will or whatever i see people in the comment section talking about defamation let's talk about that let's talk about it mm -hmm. 
So this is one of those situations where we do have the ability, right, based upon the false information that they're putting out, right? And we have been working behind the scenes, taking care of things on our legal end, gathering evidence, just so they know, about <laughs> things that they're doing. But they're walking a thin line, right? They're walking a thin line on the defamation, right? They're walking a thin line, but there are places where they have slipped up. Now it's up to you, Madison, right? If you want to go all out in regards to a lot of things, it's not just one person, it's multiple people that they have said, because the only defense to defamation is the truth. Correct. The truth, right? That's the only defense. But this wasn't a situation where they wanted it to go to court. This was a situation where they wanted it to be a case that was tried in the court of public opinion. The court of public opinion, a.k.a. social media, is where they hope to try this case. They didn't want it to go to court. They didn't want us to pull out evidence. They didn't want they didn't want that. They wanted to use public opinion to bring you down. Right. And so that is. uh, And here's the other thing. Not only bring you down, but bring themselves up. Right. Correct. Yeah. And I like I said, Madison, obviously, you know what part of being a public figure is that people are going to come out with outlandish stories. However, there are certain things that we just cannot ignore, right? We don't play about sexual assaults, battery, things like that. You don't ignore because that has the potential. People don't have a clue half the things that we are working on. And so when they start putting things out there, that can be very detrimental to the things we're trying to do. So by you putting out false stories and you working on getting your followers and your viewers up, you're hurting some, you're potentially trying to hurt someone's career. You're potentially trying to hurt their pockets. And if you do that, they're going to hurt your pockets. Okay. Because you're messing with things and putting things out there that are not true. And I like the fact that, like I said, you put the video out there, right? You put the whole video, right? A true journalist would have did their research, A true journalist would have looked at the whole thing, but that wasn't what the goal of this was. The goal of this was to put out false information and gain some type of followers. It was harassment. It was cyber bullying. That's what they were doing. Yes. And continuous and continuous, continuously doing, you know, and so, you know, it gets irritating at times when you when you just minding your business because one yeah. thing I do in this whole situation is I'll just be minding my thing. I don't really be fucking with nobody. I give my opinion oh, on things that be going on like in the world, like we're going to talk about stuff today. But I really don't be fucking with nobody, Kendra. I really don't. My whole thing was, and, and for me to be, for this stuff to be going on on the days of me, you got to look at the timing of the shit too. This stuff, for this stuff to be going on with me while I'm, at the glad while I'm doing drag race, the finale, while yeah. I'm, you know, while my the movie that I'm in received an award, you know, all of this stuff was going on. It's just like, bro, what what is like where did this come from? This just was just was so out of the space, you know. And if anybody that with eyes can look to see, like, you know, there's I'm not doing anything to anybody, I'm not bothering anybody, I'm just I'm always maneuvering through the world. You know, and ever since this whole Beyonce thing happened, it has been so many. Yep. You leveled so up. Much. It's just so much of this. Like, yeah. girl, you know, and it's been crazy. I can't wait to get my my Grammy certificate. <laughs> and I well, when that when that's all fit, finished up <laughs> and I'm holding up like, yes, girl, I can't wait till all of that is finished being done you know yeah and it's just it's just it's so it's just so it's so insane and the, and the and the things that people believe but i do i do like the way that the mob was on top of that stuff and the mob that has been following me for years saw these things yeah. in real time and they see the things with their eyes i don't really have any ill thing to say about the gentleman i hope the gentleman cuz obviously it seems as though that that he's going through some type of mental breakdown uh- or something like if you really look close, there's something going on. Like if, if 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 you take the time to look instead of just looking at the surface, there is really something going on. Mm-hmm. You know, I haven't spoken to that man since 
uh, 2020, when he asked me, which which I provided you all the, the, the receipts, I provided you all the information, I provided you all the correspondences from she that did. gentleman from the from the inception of when you know he's reached out to me. And it's all it's been congratulatory, it's been, you know, hey, sh- would you would you listen to my song? Would you so it's been in a place of you know, put me in this in the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. I just hope that there's something. That whatever he yeah. happened to him in whatever space that he was in, I hope that he gets some type of help. But but choosing this fight yeah. with me is not is not the way. You know, I looked at on on the post on his page when he was writing uh, about drag queens and trans because I it, there was no mention of me any of these times prior to this outburst about gay people, excuse me, about trans people, drag queens. There was no mention of me at all until that. And then somebody in the comments said, hey, you know, how, how, why are you acting this way or, or flashing out this way when you were on T.S. Madison show? And then right after that, it began a tirade against T.S. Madison. I was just like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, what's, what is wrong with you? And then saying that I have people stalking him. Bitch, I'm yeah. working. I, I'm, I'm working. I don't have time to have anybody stalking you and looking around for you. I don't get, I really, God, I don't want to say this in such a negative way, but I really don't give a fuck what you're doing. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm focused on my bag. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah. So no, I don't have anybody following you and searching for you. And I'm calling around for you. I don't care about you. I don't care about that. Yeah. Like, I don't care about that. You know? Yeah. So it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy that I had to really, you know, really, ex- really, really experience it. But every time I see something like that that happens, mm-hmm. I always know that there's something around the corner. Better. Yeah, because you're about to level up. But I was going to say, Madison, the other issue I have with it, and we talked about this, is that you're not just that you're a public figure, but you're an open public figure. You've been open with your story. You've been open with so much information. You shared so much. And a part of that makes it even worse because they understand that these are things that you've been through, right? You've been through, you've progressed, and it's almost like they're trying to pull you back, but use it in a way to put you in a, not victim, but now take you out of, you know, because you've been through shit. Let's be honest, guys. Y'all know right? You've been through things. So to take yourself out of that, mentally get yourself, build yourself to this place where you are now, and for them to now use it in this way was horrible. Horrible, right? Yeah. You, don't, you don't do that. You do not do that. You don't take someone that has built themselves up, been through so much mentally to put yourself in this situation. Man, a lot of people would not have been able to do what you did. Okay. No, not yesterday, because it gets it, it because because Kendra is very irritating yeah. when you're working, like when I'm working and this like this shit is going on, like it's irritating that I'm trying to post about my dress or I'm trying to be like, hey y'all, this is what's going on. Like I'm at this the, the situation. Like girl, I'm not even thinking about something that I know that I didn't do to you for for almost five years ago. Yeah, at all at all statute of limitations let me just put that word out there for you guys right a lot of this statute of limitations you have no case that's why it's being done in social media not in court like maddie would say if you have a problem you go handle it properly if it's criminal you go to the police if it's legal you go to court but statute of limitations you can't do all any of those things because you're out of there so even if you proclaim and you want to have a case, you can't because you're outside of statute of limitations. But here's the other part. You do not have a case. You don't have a case. That's the first step. Let's not, we don't even need to go to statute of limitations. You do not have a case. You don't have a case. So this is why we're seeing all these posts and, you know, this is why, because you don't have a case and you don't even have a real story. But you're running with the little bit of trash that you've been given. I'm going to say trash because it's not story. It's not information. It's trash. You're running with it in hopes of using and leveraging Madison's hard work. Leveraging Madison's hard work to build yourself. And it's wrong. 
It's wrong. It's not how you should do business. If your goal is to be in business, in the entertainment business, in the blogger space, in whatever space you want to be in long term, this is not the way to do it. But this right. is the way to get sued. It, yes. it is the way to get sued. Because who, who actually has a case is me. Yep. That's who right. actually has a case in this whole situation is me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I and I really and it's not that I I don't have the money to lean on doing to to lean on pursuing the things. It's just that I just I don't I don't have time to mm-hmm. really be sitting here focused on. It, it gets irritating for me to do That's that. Fair. However, you know maybe maybe this might be the year of example. It it, it might be it might be you have been honestly you have been handling this with such grace. You know what I mean? You've been handling all of this with such grace. At some point, I'm going to tell y'all right now, there's a reason a lot of celebrities don't handle their own social media accounts. There is a reason a lot of celebrities don't have this much interaction because of things like this. So when you start doing this, you're going to make Maddie have to lawyer up on everything. And don't worry, she's had the conversations. She's been very gracious. She's been very gracious, but we're not. The team ain't. (laughs) The team ain't. And we waiting for Maddie to say, go ahead and drop the hammer. And trust me, we will drop the hammer. That's all I need to say. That's it. You know, it's just, it just, it's, it just gets to a place where I'm like, girl, I don't really, I don't, I don't want to be in the news for suing somebody for, for I want to be working. I don't want to be going through shit like that. Like, but everybody said, make an example. They said, do your thing, attorney. <laughs> They want, you, you know what, back in the day, people didn't want to get sued because they knew, you know, but I, I know people using lawsuits now for clout. I know they're using lawsuits for clout. They they want to get sued for clout. That's not the way you build a brand in a business, buddy. That's not how it works. Stop looking for clout and do the work. Stop looking for clout and do and show up consistently and build your own brand. Do that. Focus on that. That's how that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. Maddie, you're doing amazing. Yes, you know, guys, I, I had a talk with her, but you know what? I'm happy that she spoke her truth. We would have released the legal letter, but I think you guys appreciated her telling you with her own words and showing you in her own way. And I appreciate Maddie for keeping it to the point, <laughs> right? And maintaining her composure because believe me, this is not easy to deal with. Okay. And she's doing an amazing job at that. So Maddie, I, I got you, girl. Whenever you're ready, we, we here. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you. You are Thank you very much. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep on it. Like what I want to do with that, you know. I'm gonna sleep Pray on, on it. it. Pray mm-hmm. on it, you know. Um, is there any if is like how do you know I, I'm evil, I'm okay to share my I'm okay to share my lawyer with with my folks, you know. How do you get in contact with you if they need some legal advice or some legal assistance? Yeah, you could go to brandprotector.com. That's that's where you would go. Um, we do have a team. You may look at this point. My 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 client roster is filled, especially Maddie keeps me busy. But we do have a team, and we'll be more than happy to work with you, Madison. Thank you so much for having me on brandprotector.com or email us hello at brandprotector.com and we'll schedule you a consultation call if you need one. All right, my baby. I love you and I'll call you and I'll call you later on this evening. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.